Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, we're Nick and Sarah, a British couple who left the UK many years ago in search of adventure and to live life differently. Dizzy's a bit scared of the drums. I think they're stopping now. No, they're not. Hello, friends. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a very noisy car park where we are trying to start the vlog and we have a lot of children and teenagers playing their drums. It's drum practice day. And what's really funny is their teacher and all of the children just came over to the back of the van and said, can you please stop filming the children? And we're not filming the children, we're filming inside the van. So we showed her the camera and the footage that we've taken so far, which was actually me just dancing with Dizzy inside the van to the beat of the drum. And then they went off again. I'm too scared to move now, I'm just like frozen. Nick's just had a I right telling off. I don't even want to look over. I shouldn't be wearing these sunglasses. So I'm looking over to see if they're going to stop playing and she's probably think I'm peeking out from behind the van. Oh, so she must have seen the camera in your hand mm. when you were looking round. And then me just peeking out to see if they're finished playing and they're going away. Anyway, not the best start to the vlog. Not the best start of the day. <laughs> okay, they've all left the car park. We are safe to continue the vlog and poor Nick, he's just been hiding around the back. He's like, I don't even want to look around the van to see if they're there or not. Seriously, that was a bit weird, wasn't it? Very strange, <laughs> isn't it? I mean, one of the kids went up, as they went off, they said, oh, YouTube, YouTube. So he's thinking, I don't know whether he saw the stickers on Explorers. Maybe he watches us, but anyway, um, let's start the vlog, shall we? So hello, folks, and welcome back to the channel. And thank you all so much for tuning in today. Again, <laughs> week after week, I can't believe you do it, but we're very appreciative. It's been a long, hard struggle, this van build, but after four months, we finished it last week, almost. 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 Of course, there's finishing touches to do, but we've got like a couple of weeks to wait for all the paperwork to go through. So we have a bit of time. Now we thought that we would just get the negativity out of the way right at the start of the vlog. So we continue, so we can continue with a positive, happy vlog. Yes. So we need to update you quickly on the whole awning and windows situation. So quick recap in case you'd forgotten. Um, after doing the van build, a lot of hard work, we decided with the whole windows and awning that we'd get a professional to do it. We found a good company that got good reviews on Google. The guy there said he'd be able to do the two windows and the awning in a day if we dropped the van off to him first thing in the morning. He said, I'll skip lunch. It'll take me all day, but we can get it done in a day. So to cut a long story short, we thought we'd be waiting around to the evening. He actually phoned at half three, said he was done. We were like, wow, what's going on? He'd actually phoned a friend to help him out with the work because it was forecast really bad weather stormy weather and when we went there to pick up the van at half three it was actually starting to rain what happened is we made a big boo-boo really we should have checked everything before we left we should have checked everything before we paid him and we didn't nick was quite unwell on the day and you know we just trusted him you just assume a professional is going to do a professional job but anyway, yes, we so we left Malaga, we got back to our village, checked the awning um, the next day in direct sunshine, and then we started noticing the imperfections. There was a few scratches on the front. And both of the ends were actually broken, a little bit snapped off. There was little scuff marks, and we wound Cracks, the awning out. Dense. We're like, oh, what's going on with this? It's basically like a second-hand awning. Of course, got straight on the phone to the guy that installed the awning, explained the situation, sent him some pictures, actually filmed a little video going like what is going on and then he was quite quite slow to respond actually and he said oh you know I've got no idea you know it was absolutely fine when I installed it we were just like really you wouldn't have noticed this damage putting the awning on there so anyways we it's still not been resolved basically I sent him loads of pictures and he's 
he's claiming that he didn't do it and he sent these pictures off to the supplier apparently we still don't hear anything back and then in the meantime now he's actually paid for himself the two ends that are broken the plastic bits either end I think three pieces actually and he's ordered those parts I think the total is about 100 euros and apparently they're coming in the post anytime soon so it's all a bit kind of Hmm. We actually asked him for the sales receipt for the awning that we paid for. Um, he's yet to give us that. We said we wanted to contact the company where we ordered it from and, and Dometic. Dometic. So we're thinking he's got a friend to help him and somehow they've been putting the awning up and then they've sort of forced it in where the brackets are that connect to the van. They've broken the ends off. We don't know, of course, we don't know how we're going to prove it. Um, wish we had that blinking camera on top oh, of the yeah, van that's filming On the everything. day we're like, which we set up the cameras, oh, it's a bit rude, is it? But we should have set them up we in hindsight. Up, I know. We don't want to like cause a war and start a big issue. We've got an awning, it works. We have put it all the way out. It does work perfectly fine. These parts are coming to replace the broken ends. Once we receive those parts, I am going to write an email to Dometic and I'm also going to write an email to his supplier. Anyway, that wasn't the only thing was it no nope. we haven't shown you the windows have we it's quite a bad install especially on the back one um basically these windows should be very flush against the van and they're not all along the top between the window and the van and down the side where you can see like the white um sycaflex or whatever he's used there's probably two or three millimeters gap along the top and then the other side it is flush against the van yeah. how it should be right and this is very frustrating because the thing is nick and i could have done a better job it would have taken us a lot longer but we could have done a much better job now the guy said that his friend did the back window and he did the side window i don't even know why he said that and he also said his back his friend had a bad back or something but anyway we're not happy with that at all really and we're gonna have to put some black sycaflex we're gonna have to go over that and do it ourselves so also this um, mosquito net and blind, now you can't see now because we've carpeted it and finished it all off, but this was actually bent, like sloping like that. And he said that he put it down on the table and it wasn't level. And he thinks again, that came out of the factory like that. Anyway, it works all completely fine. The window's not leaking or anything. So we just thought, well, it doesn't matter whatever so we've just carpeted it all up i mean it's it's not right it's not perfect and it should be because we paid someone to fit our windows for us so we got a perfect job and it's very very frustrating so the side window we're generally happy with there's a tiny gap down one side but all in all it's totally fine this isn't bent at all and it all fits pretty flush to the van. So what I think has happened is his friend um, was a bit crap, really. His friend installed the back window. And he didn't do May it. or may not have bent it, forcing it in, because there is a little bit of damage on our back unit as well. So if there's damage there, you could have damaged the, the frame itself and he didn't do a very good job. Now we haven't actually mentioned the windows that we're unhappy. We haven't told him, talked to him about that no. at the moment because we're worried if we start saying that, then he might just, you know, not saw out the awning. So I think once we get the parts, then I'm gonna mention, him, mention to him, look, the back window is a very shoddy install and we're mm. not happy about that at all. So that's where we're at. I mean, what would you do? It's a very difficult situation. Um, we're not going to actually name drop or tell you not what yet. company. Not yet. Not <laughs> yet. Nick wants to, but I'm like, well, I don't want to do that. You know, I mean, if any of you guys are thinking about getting any work done here in Andalusia, then just email us and we can tell you who it was and to avoid them but we're not going to call these people out in the end it's blooming annoying very annoying um that what's we... the saying if you want something done you have to do it yourself and also you can't trust anyone can mm, you and you it's it's just such anyone. a shame you know because this, that's the way the world is you can take something to a professional and you think you can you know you should be able to trust them if that's mm. their job that's what they do it's not that difficult fitting windows and an awning when you're a professional and you do it all the time anyway <laughs> that's enough ranting we said we were 
We're gonna get it out the way at the start of the vlog. It's pretty much the end of the vlog now, isn't it? <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be a negative <laughs> vlog today, but we wanted to update you guys on the whole situation. So all be good. Anyway, we're gonna move on to the positive signs now. We've yes. got some fun stuff to do on Veltum, some pretty things to go on the walls and do some lights and stuff. Sarah's ordered something exciting in oh the post. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? It's not stuck very well actually, that is it, darling? Well, no, don't just pull it all down, God. Me making holes in here is for the very, very exciting thing that's arriving today in the post. So can you guess what it is? Four rivet holes, two either side. So while Sarah's putting holes in the van and destroying our lovely little carpet job. Can I just ask, have we got more blue carpet just in case I ruin this? Yes. Okay. Doesn't sound very confident, does she? I'm a little bit worried now. I thought I put rivets. <laughs> I thought I put rivets in, but it's... I don't think there is rivets in. There's always going to be challenges and mistakes right to the end <laughs> until we've done the last brush stroke of paint. So, anyway, what have we been up to since the last vlog? Well, over the weekend, we started the process of organizing the paperwork and photographs and documents and all that stuff to send to the company um, who are going to help create the project so we can get this van legalized so what we needed to do was to first of all clean them on the outside we haven't we haven't concentrated on the outside at all we've just been getting the van build finished so we took Velton to the jet wash gave him his first jet wash a little bit worried that all his paint was going to peel off um, but that all went successfully um, and he's nice and gleaming on the outside I actually um, worked on those panels as well the plastic panels to make them bring them back to black rather than the faded grey then we also went on to the roof cleaned off some nasty blood rain stained marks that were left from the Sahara rain a couple of months ago and we cleaned up the solar panels we re flex the max fan and the skylight so that looks all fresh and and looks brand new looks like the installation's been done yesterday so then that was it really and then we took all the photographs needed to send to the company hopefully they're very impressed with the photographs and the van and that's all they need first stage done now it's just a waiting game so yes after a weekend of good old-fashioned graft and scrubbing of this van it's come up very very clean and we're very happy with how it looks now outside and inside and all of the photographs that have gone off are going to look really good and everything should be fine for the new project and getting the van legal and also we actually met this guy who actually watches our videos and he was here in the village and he has just done the same process with his van he's just camperized it and he said it was all very very easy and that we've got nothing to worry about so if you're watching i hope you are right don't worry guys, we haven't forgotten about Vinster. Vinster's still in our hearts and in our minds. And over the weekend, believe it or not, we did empty him and I completely cleaned him. I did the hoover and Sarah allowed me to hoover. Hoovered him, did some jobs on him. I'll show you those in a minute because since I tidied him, he got messy again, very messy. So our mission today is to empty little old Vinster and get him back to a proper camper van how he should be. Now we have got plans for this little van. He is not going to the scrap heap. He is staying with us and he has got um, a very fruitful um, future, should we say. <laughs> um, yes, and so we want to get him back to a van, we want to get him back nice and And we're going to do some little jobs on him because we've got yeah. loads of little bits of scraps of wood. I'm not saying we're going to scrap them together, but we've got loads of wood left. So we are, I have started and we are going to do a few little fixer-upper jobs on him. Yeah, but don't worry, it's not going to turn back into no. a van build <laughs> where we just start, finish one van and get started on this one. Yes. That's not going to happen, but we do want to get the van back to normal because like we said, we've got plans for it come on then him him got plans for him. it not it it no i didn't Rouge. say it. I didn't... <laughs> right we are just going on a little drive now in the new van in velton to um give nick a chance to play with a toy i love my gadgets love my gadgets got myself a new sat nav when i say a new... mature destination at 1829 thank you tom tom after 80 meters turn right. Very informative.
That was fun, wasn't it? Not really necessary using a sat nav to drive around your local neighborhood, but fun <laughs> nonetheless. It's nice having a dedicated screen for all your navigation. So thank you, TomTom, Tom, for sending us the Go Camper Max with its beautiful seven inch crystal clear screen. Now this is going to be very handy when there's loads of opportunities for us to get completely lost. And I tell you what, Nick and I always argue about who's gonna put our phones in the window to tell us where to go. It's always mine, always because mine. Because they get hot and it just like takes all of your battery. This is perfect for, for camper vans because you can actually put in all the dimensions of your vehicle, the height, width, the length weight all that stuff so you don't get stuck it's something that we we're quite concerned about mm. because obviously in the old van we're just used to going anywhere but as soon as you go a bit bigger and a bit wider like this you've really got to plan your route this little thing is awesome it's got so many settings to tweak and play around with you can change the color of the maps the color of the route you can add a scenic route so it takes you on a, a nicer windier road if you like that sort of thing and um, you've got voice commands nearest petrol station you have reached your destination. It's got so many different features and the way it connects, that ain't coming off no matter what bumpy road you go on. So as you can probably tell, we are quite impressed with this new TomTom Tom Go Camper Max. And if you guys want to get yourself a sat nav, then we highly recommend this one. I think it'd be a great addition for any motorhome, van lifer, oversized vehicle. And yeah, you can um, hit the link in the description and find out more details about this little bad boy here. And one thing, uh, one query I've got with it, you can change to loads of different accents, New Zealand, Irish, American, whatever. Where's no brummy. Now? Where's he going? No brummy. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice to have a brummy accent? <laughs> Thank you, Tom Tom, for sponsoring our video today. So I just wanted to show you guys the table because I'm not sure in last week's vlog if we included this when we were showing you all of the little updates and stuff. I think I lost the footage actually. Oh, that's why. Okay, so our table. Look, Nick's done a very, very good job. We've rounded off the edges and Nick's painted it this lovely white colour, which that I think looks amazing, I think it? it's going to get dirty quite quickly though. You I'm a little bit worried. Off, yeah, or we'll have a little tablecloth on top. But look how good that is. And obviously, you know, you can have this in all sorts of positions. And now we've got our little step to put our feet on. I'm picturing it. Oh, sorry, Tis. I'm picturing it. Sat off here. Lovely view out there. Just working. Just on my laptop or whatever. Or, you know, having your dinner and that. It's all very exciting, isn't it? Can I ask one question, guys? Can you comment what colour curtains do you think there? I like these. Like two shades of greens or blues or something. Yeah. Should we go beige or brown or dark light or coloured? Yeah. Or maybe even like the turquoise colour. Like this colour. Um, that's just a couple of blankets at the moment. That's why they're a bit raggy looking. So we've just put them over there to hide it until we do something better. I mean, I could actually make these into curtains for the sewing machine. Um, so yeah, we're just kind of toying with the idea of what color, because it's a big feature, isn't it? Mm. Boom, in the middle of the van. So we have to get it right. Really like that table, don't yeah, you? I love this table. Yeah, I no chance of poking mm. your eye out on that, is there? Unlike that. <laughs> <laughs> So whilst Nick is just organising little old Vinster, getting him ready for adventure, getting him all neat and tidy, I thought I would just show you guys the situation in here, in the bathroom. So currently the lid is down, as you can see, and I can comfortably sit on the loo straight up without hitting my head on the, on, on the roof here, which is very good. And the loo is actually sat on um, this, um, what do you call it? We've got like a rug down. So you've got the shower tray and then there's a rug and then there's this wooden tray on top of that to kind of protect the shower tray when you're in here. So that actually adds this much height onto the, onto the, the shower and you can still sit in here. So I'm very happy because I really wanted to be able to do that in case I want to just run in here and have a quick loo without you know lifting the lids up and stuff not that it takes much energy to lift the lids up but i just kind of wanted to do that my little cubby hole toilet space um yeah so i've just also been um finishing off the corners here we got this like plasticky um type 
tape if you like and it's got like a perforated center bit so it's perfect for these corners we've also got a shower curtain coming today along with the very exciting thing we've got for the back of the van that i mentioned earlier we've got a um, a, a really long um extra long shower curtain not extra long sorry extra wide shower curtain so it's going to be able to go all the way around um, around this area. We're not sure how we're attaching the shower curtain to the roof yet. Um, we could use just we could just do something as simple as a hula hoop like we did in Vinny that would work perfectly well and uh, and and yeah we'll be able to have like a proper full-on shower in the van but quite a simple sort of solution if you like and if we want to just come in here for a little wash or you know rinse the dogs off and things like that obviously we don't have to use a shower curtain because this is this is all waterproof it's all lino and things but but yeah so quite happy with the little mini not talking poop bathroom. again are you babe you know you can't hide in there there's no door and you've got the curtain open it's a perfect little hideout space oh check these out by the way so good these are but look at that you can probably tell what it is it's just for storing your half cut up onion quite often we've got half an onion there garlic for storing the garlic lemon for storing pineapples yeah so useful especially the garlics all those little tiny cloves just get everywhere they're actually really good like nick got me one for christmas like as a little stocking filler it wasn't like the main present or anything quite often you only use half an onion and so it stinks and it? it stinks so there's an onion shaped container to keep it in and the same with the lemon you quite often just squeeze half a lemon into your drink what are you going to do with a leftover lemon you're not going to just put it on the side and let dog hairs get all over no it no way. you're gonna you're gonna put it in a lemon sized container and put it in the fridge perfect why are dog hairs gonna get on it when it's on the side oh, dizzy's hairs are just everywhere we end up eating half a dizzy every week right let's go and see the job that nick's done on little old vinster Ta -da! okay there's a few things bag of tools that's water to fill up because we're gonna go and fill up our waters obviously new additions though look that lovely little wood chopping board surface nicely curved off that just slots in there nice little decoration and then up here it's work in progress so we put some carpet here we're going to replace the bit that was there before so you've got a batten along here we're going to add some other bits there just to keep things in place and all the storage over there wow carpet here and um and then we fixed the little rotten thing down on the floor there as well <laughs> yeah. this was completely rotten behind here like five layers peeled off so we need to stick this down but found this little strip slots in there how <laughs> cool is little old vinster i tell you he's still number one isn't he he'll always be number one not listening is he the other one the other one that well, one. they're calling them it, the other one. <laughs> she's got to that age now where she gets all the names wrong and just. Yeah, does them. anyone else? Well, my mum always does it. So there's five siblings in our family, and my mum goes to say Sarah, and she goes through all of the other names first and then gets it right on about fourth attempt. She always does it. See, we that's always probably, take the Mickey out. That's of probably all right with, you know, with children because all the same species, but when you start mixing up your husband and Van's names and dog's names it's getting a bit weird <laughs> i don't do that do i no not yet not yet it's only Start a matter of time Vinster, little old Vinster. he is little and old let's face it Yeah, so this was the whole uh, big thing. <laughs> um, and it needs adapting a little bit. It needs adapting a little bit. So we have to figure out a way how we can attach it and hold the weight between the four rivets rather than just using the one centerpiece. So it's probably not the, well, it's definitely not the exact chair for the right job, but I think we can make it work. And looks Dizzy's good very good though, happy. looks good. Look at that, picture that on a beach, just swinging in the breeze. That's the idea. Here she goes, she couldn't resist it. I've got to try and have a go and I film it because this could go on one of those blinking disastrous things, couldn't it? Disaster shows. 
I'm a bit worried. <laughs> there you go. I won't stay in for too long until we're properly set up. Obviously, it doesn't look great up here. We need to sort it out properly and then that's going to look all neat and everything. But you get the idea. How good is this? Sat off, view over the ocean or whatever, you know, sat here reading your book, having a drink. Face in or out, can't you? Yeah, that's enough space between the two cupboards, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I think that kind of works. Okay. Yeah, a bit of adjustment and I reckon that'll be perfect. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, so I've been in the chair for quite a while now and it hasn't fallen down. And I don't know if you can hear in the background, the drummers are back. So you can actually just turn this around and have a little chair facing inside the van for when it's not nice enough to swing outside the van, couldn't you love? A really comfortable That's little chair. That's what I said, she's copying my idea, I said that first. <laughs> no he didn't, no he didn't. So one of us can be on the stool down here and the other one can be on the comfortable chair. I know, it's good isn't it, because you can still use everything, the dogs can still jump in and out. Loads of Plenty space. Plenty of space underneath when you've got the doors open. Happy days, I think everyone needs one of these in their van. Yeah. Yeah. On this wall you've got a massive strip of white, I think we need like, I don't know whether we can go too, too patterned because we've got the lino and the backsplash there, so maybe a strip of colour there. And I'm thinking like, pastely blues the same sort of blues are in the lino for these doors nick actually photoshopped color onto these units from a, an image yesterday last night and he was showing me i was like no yeah but that was not. too bright wasn't it it was too bright and i think if we do add color to like these doors i think maybe just like one or maybe like two like random i don't want too much i don't think we should go i'm thinking too the far. whole kitchen area every door and then here Nick's just thinking like decals on the on the outside of the van, loads more colour in here and I'm just a bit like standoffish going, mm, I'm not sure. But in the end, he always gets his own way. So it's probably going to just happen over time anyway, let's face it. Um, is there a, was some guy at the back of Vinny then doing something dodgy? <laughs> Gonna work. Yeah. Just trying out the shower curtain. So we bought a three meter wide shower curtain. And then the idea is, I think you kind of get the idea, we'll have a hook up here. A hook on the side wall or the back wall. Or I this think. one even, yeah. Yeah. So we just need to figure out the hooks here. You just hook your curtain up, have a shower quick shower and then you can, we can just hang the curtain out to dry or you can just leave it in here kind of hanging up to, to dry it out mm. also. Just a few of the finishing touches that need to be done. Still can't believe we're at the stage of this whole thing where we're doing all this really cool fun stuff like the finishing touches ready to move in. Oh what we're we gonna put in that space? Of course beer bottle opener Obviously this was Nick's idea. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't going to have a beer today, but... <sighs> I just need to point out the mad skills of my husband. Look at that little box he's created. He's even put a little bit of lino in the bottom of it. And then we're sort of thinking about this maybe going here. That's very good now, darling. That's I really good, like that it? now. Yeah, that's really cool. Quite rustic. Yeah. Anyway, um, next week we are... You're going to have to wait till next week to see that shelf. Where is it going to be? Where is it going to be? Ooh. Ooh, my God, the suspense. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, next week we are actually moving into the van. Now, we feel like we need to move in. And then obviously when we take the van for infection... Infection? infection. <laughs> he hasn't well, got an infection. No one's worry, infected no one's here. Infected. We're all healthy. Let's hope not anyway. Um, when we take the van for inspection, we'll have to move back out because we will obviously move stuff in. But I thought we could just put everything in like a big box. Mm. Like we've got a big box now under the garage ready to put things in. But we don't want to put everything in because that box has to come out for the in inspection. So we could just do the same. We, we need just to bring a, a power station because we're going to wire a few things up to the power station, yeah. the lights and stuff. And we want to try and figure out, out what's going to go in these cupboards. We'll figure out what we need to do to make the van, functional. you know, perfect and functional. So when we do get the papers, we can just go. Boom, Boom. gone, gone. You know, <laughs> done. What do you think, guys? Do Should we add a little bit of paint? 
similar to the colours of the lino. Oh, we've already asked them that. Yes, I'm just making sure they haven't forgotten. <laughs> maybe, maybe they're thinking of waiting to the end of the vlog to comment, so I'm just reminding them. Yeah. Anyway, yes, we're ending the vlog. We're ending the vlog, and we'll <laughs> see you all next week while we're living in the van, testing everything out, cooking in the van, washing in the van, finally christening that toilet in the van, and we haven't even tested out the bed properly. All happening next week. So you can come and join us and see how we get on. It will be a fun vlog to film. I'm sure there'll be definitely some ups and downs. And Not uh, those sort of ups and downs. <laughs> Dirty mind. Dirty minded you. Gosh. <laughs> anyway, guys, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you're following us on all our other socials. Make sure you're subscribed. It's free, easy, helps us out massively. massively. Yeah. Keeps us motivated. To keep filming these videos. Mm. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you next Thursday. Take care, guys. Thursday. See you next week. Um, <laughs> Our dogs are so funny. So look where Dizzy is now. So he's got himself right into the corner there on top of all of the cushions, made himself a lovely little, you know, he gets the most comfortable place in the van that he can possibly find. That's Dizzy, that's what he does. He does the same thing in the house. He is like a proper little Lord. And it's so funny because Charlie, he was in here in the van, but all the time, you know, that he doesn't really want to be in here if he has the choice. He would much rather be outside. So right now, Lord Dizzy, and then Charlie is under the front of Vinny where we don't actually let him go but he sneaked under when we were filming <laughs> where it's all oily, dirty, smelly and that's him, that's him happy, you know, they're, they're so funny So hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining us in Is Oh my goodness, there's a spare one of these it's You can have good. two beers at once Perfect. Ah.